At first glance, this question looks pretty hideous, so best read it pretty carefully. Um, we've got the, a curve, which is this, and the point P4, 9 lies on the curve. I'm going to just add that, just so that I realise what they're talking about. Show that the normal to the curve at point P has that equation. Right, whenever you're finding the normal, the first thing you need to do is find the gradient of the tangent, which is found by differentiating. So, for part A... We need to find the derivative, which is 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. At x equal to 4, then, the derivative equals 3 times 4 squared is 3 times 16 minus 12 times 4 plus 9, so the gradient is 9. That tells us that the gradient of the tangent that we're looking at, let's call that m, equals minus one ninth, the gradient of normal, sorry, is minus one ninth. Okay, if the gradient is minus one ninth, then we get y equals minus one ninth x plus something. And we substitute, because it goes through p, we can substitute in the values four and nine. So we get nine equals minus four ninths plus something. So the something equals nine add four ninths. And is 81 ninths, so 85 ninths. C equals 85 over 9. Given the equation um, here, I'll now put that in. C is 85 over 9. Multiply this whole equation by 9, we get 9y equals minus x plus 85. And it's beginning to look like what we're aiming for. The next line would be uh, 9y, well, x plus 9y, if you must, then equals 85, and that's our solution. The next part, uh, right, the region R shown is bounded by the curve of the y-axis and the normal showing all your work and calculate the exact area of R. Okay, so what we've got to do here is find the area of this under the curve which is found by integrating the curve, and then subtract that from the area of this trapezium here. I didn't draw that very well, but you sort of get what I'm talking about, hopefully. So we need to need to first integrate the curve. So a bit of space here. Oh, God, that's not meant to happen. A bit of space here. No, it's still not meant to happen like that. Oh, well, I don't know. Let's, let's get rid of that, then. You get what I'm talking about, hopefully. Um, underline this. Let's first integrate to find the area, and p is the point four comma nine. So we're integrating between the x coordinate naught and four. Um, x cubed minus six x squared plus nine x plus five. All of that with respect to x, which gives us one quarter x to the power four minus two uh, x cubed plus 9 over 2, that says 9 over 2x squared, plus 5x, and into that we're going to substitute 4, and, well, could say 0, but 0 is not really going to do anything, so I just need to substitute 4 into that. That will tell us the area under the curve. So, let's go through this, then a quarter of 4 to the power of 4 is 4 to the power of 3, 64, minus 2 times 4 cubed, so minus 2 times 64, um, plus 9 over 2 times 4 squared, 4 squared is 16, so 9 eighths, plus 5 times 4. Um, so we get 64 minus 62, 64 times 2 is minus 64, plus 72 is 8, so I think that's 28, I think. Um, the next bit is to find the area of the trapezium. And the area of the trapezium, by the way, when I say trapezium, I'm talking about this shape here. That shape, if we subtract the thing we just found from that, we're left with R. So this trapezium, we could find its equation and do some daft integration, or we could do it much more simply just by using the area of the trapezium. We know that, that length is 9, that length is 4, so it's just a case of finding what this length here is. And we know that the normal, which is this line here, 
as the equation that we found here. So we're trying to find what value of y is when x is 0. Well, it's 85 over 9. 85 over 9. So the area of the trapezium is half, well, it's basically the average of the parallel sides times the distance between them. So we get that. So uh, that should give us an answer. Good blimey. 2 times 9 plus 85 over 9. So 2, let's write 9 as 81 over 9. So that gives us 166 over 9 times 2, which is 332 over 9. So that's the area of the trapezium. That's the area of under the curve. So the answer we're looking at is a subtraction of those. 332 over 9 minus 28. 28 times 9 plus... 252 so so that's that total area is um, 80 over 9 we're asked to find the exact area so don't go writing that as a decimal approximation 80 over 9 is the answer